Hello everyone, I am Ruthush Runwal and I welcome you all to Gyani Buddy. Today, we will go through the solution of an important operating system practical. So first, let's check the problem statement. Create a shell script to perform the following. So we have to perform all these tasks for the shell script. First, find the number of processors your machine has. Second, uh, how many cores does the machine have? What is the frequency of each processor? How much physical memory does your system have? How much memory is free, the total number of forks since the boot and the total number of context switches that the system has performed since boot up. So uh, this is our uh, script that will perform all these tasks. Now we will understand how this code works. Uh, so first we have the echo statement. The echo statement just simply prints whatever we have passed in, in the parenthesis onto the screen. That is the string. So first it will print CPU processes and then uh, we have this uh, long statement grep dash C processor slash proc slash CPU info. Now what is going on here? The slash proc slash CPU info is a short read only plain text file that contains information about the CPUs on a computer. So let's take a look at this file for once. So this is the file. It's just a simple text file that contains all the information that, uh, that uh, about the CPU that the computer has. So we have the processor and in the index zero. And here again, we have the processor with the index one. And here again, we have the processor with the index two. So that means there are three processors that we know by looking at this file, but how we will make, we will make uh, this script know that there are three processors. So to do this, we have uh, we have used here the grep command. And as we all know, the grep the grep filters searches according to a specific pattern or a set of characters. So the set of characters that we have passed here is processor. So uh, it will look for the processor in this file, and whenever it has its occurrence, uh, it will uh, increment the counter by one as we have passed the dash c argument. So in this way, uh, the output of the first line will be three. So in similar ways, in the second uh, part, we have passed CPU cores. As in the question, it was given that how many cores does the machine have? So as you can see, uh, here we have a CPU core and we have three. But it is for each processor. Like if you see the processor number with the ID one, uh, here it also has CPU core 3. So all the processors have a CPU core of 3 and it will remain constant. So to get the unique values, uh, we have passed here the unique UNIQ command. And so in this way, this will give us the CPU cores that are present on this machine. Uh, in the similar ways, we have also calculated the CPU frequency. And also to calculate the memory in the proc uh, directory, we have a file known as meminfo which contains all of these uh, things. So let me show you once. So as you can see, this file has all uh, the memory related information related to this computer, like the total memory, the free memory and uh, the available memory and so on. So here what we need is uh, how much physical memory does the system have? That is the total memory the, uh, that we can find by mem total. So again, we will grep on this file and uh, we will get the mem total uh, that is this much of KB. And in similar ways, we will get the free memory using this mem free. Uh, and also to get the number of folks, uh, we have the vm stat dash f command. So this will give the number of folks since boot. And also for the number of context switches, we have a slash proc slash stat. So in uh, this, we have a CTXT uh, area uh, that states the number of context switches in the similar way uh, as we have found the total memory and so on. So uh, this is uh, our script. So let's uh, run it. First, we will traverse to the desktop because it is saved on our desktop. Now, ensuring that it has proper permissions, we will run it and it runs. As you can see, we have three processes three cores. This is the frequency for each of them, the total memory, the free memory and so on. 
so that's all from my side thank you guys for joining us